This is a good question. How did Japan become one of the best friends of the Western countries, especially the USA, even after the US nuked them during World War II? This is a great question, right? How did that happen? Today, Japan is very much in the in the sphere of the Western world. It's a to some extent a westernized country. It has a very, very strong alliance with the US. So how did this happen? So what really happened is that Japan came under US occupation. The United States defeated Japan. The Japanese surrendered after being nuked twice. The United States took over the whole country of Japan, the administration of Japan, all the military bases of Japan. They took over the whole country. They occupied the country. Then the Japanese constitution, the Meiji constitution, was rewritten under the supervision of General Douglas MacArthur. And a new constitution, post-war constitution, was put in place, which was basically authored by the Americans. And that constitution is in force today. It has not been changed once since the time the Americans supervised it. Okay? And Japan is still under US occupation. Let me demonstrate that. So let's take a look at our trusty old map. Let's go towards Japan. So this here is Japan. The Americans have dozens of military bases in Japan. Let me show you one or two of these. Let me show you one of these. So this here is the island of Okinawa, the home of Okinawa Karate, Shorin Ryu Karate. So this island has a large number of US bases. Let's, let's look into this. So if we go here, we have, let's take a look at the actual satellite image. So this is clearly an air, airport, an airstrip. It says MCAS Futenma. Let's see what it means. Marine Corps Air Station, US, United States Armed Forces Base. So this is an American base on Japanese soil. Does a sovereign nation ever allow a permanent base of another country on its soil? Especially dozens of these? No. There are many more. But I've just shown you one and that should be enough for the purpose of this illustration. So my point is that the, the country of Japan is under US occupation even today. Right? It is managed by the US. It is... Well, it, it is said to have an, a strong alliance with the US, but it's actually under US occupation, de facto US occupation. Even Germany today, to some extent, is under de facto US occupation. So that is the true story, uh, which was the question. This is the question, yes. So after the Japanese were nuked by the US, the country was taken over by the US, it was occupied by the US, and it is still under US occupation. And that's how it appears to have become the best friend of the Western countries. The Japanese have made the best of the situation. They have become an extremely well-developed country, the most technologically advanced nation in the world. They have a reasonably strong uh, armed forces. They have, a reasonable, they have a quite strong navy as well but it's all under U.S. supervision. So that's the truth of the matter.